I want to just talk a little bit about the, the landscape of women and VC funding. So obviously you're in the thick of it. You've seen it from all different <laughs> angles. What do you see the landscape right now mm -hmm. in, in Silicon Valley in terms of women in funding? So I think, first of all, just let's talk about women in startups. I mean, I think lots of people have reported on it, and I, I think it's definitely true that we see just a whole new generation of, of young women inspired to start companies, which is amazing. Like, mm -hmm. just like acknowledge, acknowledging that right, is that great. When I started my first company, I was 28, and I didn't know another woman founder. Now, I mean, I would say regularly I get reached out to from women who are 27, 28 starting companies looking for some type of help, mentorship, advice, what have you. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's tremendous just to see that many people drawn. Um, so I think that's a good thing. In terms of funding, you know, for me personally, I actually don't think there's a distinction between women getting funded versus men getting funded. What I think is different is this. I think whenever you go to an investor, they want to see somebody who's obsessive about their vis vision, obsessive and in some way, shape or form, a visionary, right? Mm -hmm. so, so I think you should need to show that obsessive compulsion, which women can do as well as men. But secondly, I think there's a lean forwardness and a feeling like in some aspect of what a consumer wants, particularly in B2C, that there you have some unique insight. And I think what's happening is we do see a lot of women starting companies with females as, as the primary consumer. consumer right. And I think, to me, that's what's so great because clearly women are leaning forward and saying, wow, I have insight here. Like, I think I could be the visionary in home, in dating, in, you know, mobile experiences, in social. And so when you see women feel like they can be visionary, mm -hmm. that to me is what an investor wants to see. Right. And that's gender neutral, right? But I think women are feeling the call, and that's great. Well, that's interesting because I feel like women also, there's like another side to that story, which is that women feel like maybe their businesses aren't being taken seriously because they're female focused or mm -hmm. because they're maybe. I've heard the term like a cupcake business or mm -hmm. like a pink business. Mm -hmm. Do you think that that's worth addressing or do you think, no, that people should capitalize on that unique uh, female consumer or insight into the female mind? Well, first and foremost, I think that, you know, I think to have sustainable vision and energy as an entrepreneur, you need to feel like you have some unique area in which you feel like you can be a product visionary, right? And okay. that doesn't mean you need to be technical. It means that you need to, you, again, you need to feel like there's some unique insight that makes you feel like you know where your product needs to go, right? Mm -hmm. Even before the consumer knows. Right. So I think generally speaking, you should value that above all else because at the end of the day, that's what's going to drive demand. If you're right or you're wrong, right, on that thesis and on that vector of differentiation. So I don't think it's a bad thing. I do acknowledge that you know, particularly if you're a first time entrepreneur, mm -hmm. you know, one of the challenges is some investors you meet, whether they're men or women, get how powerful the consumer, the female consumer is online, and others chalk it up to, oh, that's just a girl business, right? Mm -hmm. And I think your job is to discern investors who may understand the size and the value of the business. I've met many male investors who completely get how powerful this category is. You see it Excel, certainly. Well, I right? wanted to talk about Excel, right? So yes, Excel, Excel is was clearly a, not was category. was a, a founder of Yodley, right? Yes. And then you went to work for them as a CEO in residence, yeah. and now they're behind Joyous. They also do what Birchbox and ModCloth, yes. so they've got a number of these things. Is that, I, was, I guess my question was, is it specific to Excel or is that? Well, Excel certainly has a lot of commerce insight, which is one of the reasons I went there as a CEO in residence, mm -hmm. knowing I wanted to start a company in the category or, or, or run one. And certainly when I went to raise money, I went to one person. I went to Excel because of that commerce expertise. By the way, the other person I went to was Michael Deering, who's a man who has a great commerce portfolio, mm -hmm. right? And understands, again, some of the unique insights in commerce for women. Um, I will tell you that certainly a differentiation for me, and I do think some women entrepreneurs feel this, is when you meet a woman VC who gets it even more innately, and Teresa Ranzetta is certainly one of those women, that's like an added bonus. You're like, you know, she gets it, right? But you are looking for somebody who gets it, and I wouldn't say there aren't men who get it. They clearly are. Um, it's an added bonus when you feel like you have an investor at the table with you. You're totally intuiting my next question because I wanted to talk about is there like a pay it forward sort of giving chain or like... Mm -hmm. You know, I've, I've read studies that for angel funding, yeah. women are more drawn to, mm -hmm. to female investors. Well, certainly I think there is with regard to a lot of time and energy that all of us put around it. First of all, let's be clear. I don't think, I don't think Teresa Ranzetta would have funded Joyous if she didn't think it was a massive business opportunity because she's a great businesswoman, mm -hmm. right? But I will say that I think we have a whole generation of women that in some way or shape or form do want to see other women succeed. Mm -hmm. And I think that social network is very vibrant in the Valley and in New York. I know that it does take a little bit more as a woman, particularly when you hit years that you have 
a kid and a husband and you still are taking a disproportionate load of things other than just your job. And so, yeah, I'm uniquely biased to seeing women want to succeed. Um, and I think there's a little bit of pay it forward, but it's pay it forward to people who, you know, have great ideas, have great ideas, great potential, are worthy of all of the time and energy you're going to sink into it, man or woman. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of us have a particular bias for wanting to see other women do it.